Hey everybody, it's Phil again. Hey, we got on the water here, but I wanted to show you that where I put in the new TI-27 um, with the side imaging and the 3-in-1 transducer. And we want to make sure our transducer is level. So there was a tip that I was given that I wanted to try and share with you guys. Because um, your boat sits level, whether different, whether it's on the trailer or actually in the water. And you want, however your boat sits in the water, with whatever gear you have and everything that's going on, you want that um, in the inner boat. So I put everything in here exactly how it is when I'm normally fishing so my boat would sit where it's at and then I can adjust my transducer after I see where I'm at. So what I've done is, this guy showed me, I took a level and put it on the side rail and you'll notice I've got a washer right there. And what I found is my boat was on level and you use how many ever, well I got a bunch of washers sitting here but it only took one to uh, get that bubble directly level so that way now I know with one washer level on there I can go home take my boat unhook it from the truck use the front jack to get that same level and then level my transducer to match um, that way everything's looking the same and your transducer is not sitting at an angle like this shooting out the back or down underneath or whatnot just a few degrees just to get a little more accurate so anyway that's what a guy showed me um, that's what I've done so far you've seen that and tonight when I get the home back and the, the boat back home in the shop I will uh, unhook that and I'll finish this video then and uh, show you guys to kind of have an understanding and maybe it helps somebody out Thanks, we'll catch you later. We're gonna go try to catch some fish now. Hey guys, uh, we made it back home from fishing. Um, picked up one large mouth on a jackhammer. Um, that was about it. Had a couple follows up. My buddy caught three, so he kind of won the day. But uh, anyway, um, as in the previous video here, uh, we're gonna connect this one too. You can tell I went out and remember we leveled up this uh, level with the washer and that bubble's perfectly level. So what we did then is I come home, I unhooked, obviously got the boat back in the garage and we are, let's see, set that level up there. So I jacked the boat up, set the level up there on the washer. Everything looked good. Um, brought it back here and my uh, transducer was actually about a full bubble off. So I was quite a ways off. I still got pretty good readings today. I can follow contours and everything, but you know, it's it takes just a few minutes and we got it set up. So I come back and adjusted it and you can see here, I don't know if you can see exactly that, that bubble is perfectly level there again. So it's all sealed up. So now I can come back and clean up some of my silicone. But anyway, um, that's nice to know that transducers level with the boat sitting in the water with it fully loaded exactly how I do it all the time. So anyway, um, Hope that was a good tip. It was given to me by somebody, so I thought I'd just share and, and uh, pass along and see if it helps somebody else. So if it works out or if you got a better idea or a better way to do it, um, just leave a comment below. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. We got, uh, now that the weather's warming up, we're gonna get some good fishing uh, footage out there and a little more entertaining stuff than these uh, boat tips and tricks. But anyway, have a great evening and uh, yeah. Have a great one. We'll see you next time.